And back then in 1982, there were no roads. It was like a living part of hell. Fires burning, garbage, animals, carcasses. It was awful, but I didn't see all that so much. I saw a chance to implement an experiment in education. In church one day, one of the members got up and uh, asked for volunteers to come forward to be teachers in a literacy school run by the Coptic Orthodox Church in a community called the Garbage Collector Settlement. I come from a well-to-do family in Cairo, and of course, I had never known poverty or deprivation. What touched me was uh, the need. There was something important that had to be done here. Few things have changed in the 12 years since Lila Camel first visited the Zabaline, a people whose life still revolves around garbage. Forced out of southern Egypt by drought in the 1940s, this indigenous Christian minority group settled against the limestone cliffs on the outskirts of Cairo. Lacking urban skills and education, they did what they could to survive. They recycled the garbage they collected from surrounding neighborhoods. Today, the children still accompany their fathers on the morning rounds to collect the day's garbage. They load it onto, car, uh, used to be carts, now it's trucks. Take it to their homes in this neighborhood. And then the women sort through it manually while they squat around it, sort it into piles of paper, plastic, aluminum, cloth, tin, food. Food is fed to the pigs, and the pig size in the back of the house. The uh, waste is sold to other merchants who now deal in recycling it. It's a closed cycle. There is no waste. Camel, who holds a doctorate in education and development, saw the promise of a better life for the children in school. The nature of the lives of these children was such that they couldn't attend regular school because they had to go out on the garbage route. It struck me that individualized instruction would allow these children to trickle in all day long and pick up where they had left off. There was a component where children would um, enact sociodramas or put on puppet theater uh, or games, skits, and so on, uh, to teach each other about taking care of their bodies. And certainly these kids needed it. And so it was simply a question of giving them a kind of education that would um, support all of the things they knew about survival in this horrible environment and show them how to think through their situation in life, their dilemma. To free young women from their fate as garbage sorters, Camel created a weaving program. Here, recycling old rags redirects lives. As income generating projects unfold, they become different people simply because they know next month I'm gonna get the same amount so I can start planning from now. That certainty and regularity changes her dead-end view of life and changes her uh, dependence. What Lila Camel has given the Zabaline is hope, and her reward is priceless. I always tell people, God gave me one natural child, but I now have at least 500 other children. And the love they have given me over the years cannot be measured in uh, currency. These people have taught me so much. They have taught me uh, how to survive, uh, how to find joy and laughter in the middle of adversity. When I see a girl or a woman whose life has become transformed as a result of this, I feel I have rebuilt the pyramids all over again. For outstanding environmental achievement in Africa, a 1994 Goldman Environmental Prize is awarded to Lila Camel of Cairo, Egypt.